Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to our Friday Tech Talk. We've got our resident, our new resident uh, expert today. His name is Mr. Wayne. Wayne's going to talk about this neat little device that we've got going on here. It's called Google Chromecast. Uh, he's been using it for quite some time now, so he's coming in to just explain to us, you know, what he gets up to because uh, he's got the internet connectivity uh, and he's going to explain how this works with your internet and how obviously you can get much more entertainment and more value from your internet. Okay, Mr. Wen, how are you doing, sir? I'm doing great and you? I'm very well. Welcome, welcome, welcome to our show. Thank you for having me. No problem, no problem. Mr. Wayne, you've got this cute little device here. It's very small. Uh, what's this about? What's Google Chromecast? All right, just to give you a rundown on Google Chromecast, what Google Chromecast is, is basically a casting device uh -huh. whereby whatever you're watching on your screen, whether it be a laptop, whether it be a cell phone or a tablet, okay. you can literally mirror it straight from your device to your TV, simple as that, just in a okay. quick instance. So when you say mirror, you're talking about um, whatever you're watching yeah. on your device, you're now throwing it or casting it into your TV. Correct. Okay. That's what it is. All right. Yeah. So what if, so now... Okay. With this, um, like for example, if you're watching Netflix, if you're watching, uh, if you're on YouTube, yeah. or any even third-party applications okay. as well that you do have on your cell phone, and sure. you wanna watch it on a bigger screen, because I mean it does get frustrating watching something on a small screen. Yeah. You know what I mean you wanna watch it on your TV, yeah. and you realize that wait. I don't have a smart TV, so yeah. what this does is actually turns your TV into a smart TV. Okay. You can put it in that way, right? Okay. So now if you're watching your Netflix, your favorite show, whatever sure. it is, what you do is just literally link it to that, your cell phone to that device, and you'll be watching on your big screen. Okay. So I see here, and there's quite a few like applications, yeah. Netflix, Google Play, Spotify. So I've got a phone, a smartphone. Brand. And I would download obviously all my subscription apps, right? So if I've got Netflix personally, okay. and I already have it on my phone. So what you're saying to me is, when I watch it and I've got, I've downloaded the application. What's it called again? The application what? for for this yes. uh, for this device is the Google Home. Google Home. Uh, Google Home app. Yeah. Okay, so I've got the Google for. Home app. I put it on my phone, and it'll connect to this device here. Correct. And then that would then obviously allow my phone. To cast that information onto my smart TV. Yeah. Okay. Or yeah. my TV that becomes yeah. a smart TV. That becomes a smart TV. Okay, I yes, see. Correct. I see. Okay. So what do you get up to with this? All right. So with me, I've been using it for quite a few months now. Uh, okay. You know, for six months, and I've had actually the joy and pleasure of uh, being able to watch my favorite shows, my yeah. favorite movies, yeah. especially you know when I'm just at home relaxed. Yeah. Just literally hop onto my cell phone and sure. realize that okay, I don't want to watch. Or even DSTV now, actually, that's a really cool feature that um, actually really stands out. Is yeah. The fact that if you want to actually watch DSTV now, you you know. Oh yes, because it's, it's it's an application on your it's cell an phone. Application on uh, your cell phone. So a little icon pops up. Okay. Um, a little icon. Uh, which I don't know if you can see in the camera. It just looks like like this. Uh, that's the cast button that okay. you actually do press okay. and then when you click that button whether but only once you're in the app so sure. once you're in the app you click the cast button and then you can watch your favorite shows your favorite but this will work straight to your TV this will work with any TV that has an HDMI port as long as your TV has an HDMI port and I'm sure everybody's got in 2019 in 2019 I mean? yeah I mean if you've got the box then yeah. I just throw it away guys okay. come on we can't be having those you know this guy said so, throw away your TV <laughs> throw just... away your TV I mean everybody's got a flat screen yeah. which has an HDMI port so sure. what makes it nice is that it already comes built in with it right okay. so there's your HDMI port there yeah. so what you do is just plug that into the back of your TV and what's nice about it is actually a little neat uh, quite uh, gadget right whereby yeah. it's not it's not too big so it's okay. something that you can actually carry with you yeah and something yeah. that um, that you can hide um, behind the TV, so that way, if you do have people over, yeah, you won't be, you know, like it won't be in the way of anybody. No, yeah, you know what I, mean? I wouldn't even be able to see it because yeah, you wouldn't be. This wouldn't this be. cable is small or <laughs> short rather, and I would imagine obviously when you plug it behind your TV, it just hides it just behind hides. your TV. Correct. Oh wow, no, that's that's pretty dope, man. It is, it is. That's pretty, it's pretty cool. Okay. And what's cool about it? So what you do get in the contents with the box, uh, yeah. what you do get, you get this little device, this little bad boy over here. Yeah. And then what you do get is your power adapter and your power cable. Okay. So can you realize that I didn't say anything about a remote, which means that. Your cell phone is actually the remote. So, uh, okay. so all your apps are saved onto your cell phone. Yeah. And what you do is you mirror your Netflix or yeah. whatever app that you're using sure. to this little device you show on your TV. Okay. And then you realize that your 
your phone is literally now the remote you know yeah. what I mean so you can change whatever it is volume up volume down yeah. next channel do you know what I just thought it. about outside of just entertainment yeah. I realise now I mean if if I've got work to do and, and, and I'm obviously answering my emails and my phone and so on and I'm at home and for whatever reason my laptop's not there I could literally use this device to work do some work on it to do because as you get all these Microsoft applications on that you can have in your phone yeah. your presentations and stuff like that yeah. I could literally have it on a big screen yeah. but while working on my cell phone yes, that's it crazy that's so crazy. it does bridge that gap with that um, is literally use your cell phone to do that so yeah. like what's also cool about it is also for if you are actually a business person that you know has to always be in and out of meetings doing, okay. showing presentations yeah what you can do is you can just put this little device into your laptop bag or into your pocket yeah yeah and yeah. then go to your next meeting you travel with this it in, boom and then okay. whatever all the, all the documents you have saved on your cell phone you can just mirror it to, your t- to the tv that you yeah. actually have it plugged into okay easy and simple what and are the happy. limitations though because i mean um i'm imagining if you're obviously you got your phone mm. um are you able to use other devices uh, outside of that specific phone able to use other devices yeah unfortunately not you can't it you only know. works with a cell phone it only works with a cell phone tablet or laptop also the android device yeah basically. and also ios so all the iphone users are able to actually use this okay. you're not limited i know with iphone is very it's a different story it's a different <laughs> story but and that you are able to use it with ios yeah. and android so it is okay. compatible with both and also windows and macbook so, okay yeah so you're not limited okay what's interesting is what i find with this with this offering is that it kind of it's very very similar to the android box oh yes right? because because yeah, with right. the android box which is something we're going to cover very soon likely on our next um you know our next tech talk is because we've also got something called a crazy device right okay. so our crazy device also it's actually very similar packaging to this it's got the netflix logo and stuff like that on but just to to understand the the differentiation between obviously the chromecast to the android box that the android box acts as the sulfur in a sense because yes, in a sense. all the yes. stuff is stored and, and and it's been communicated from the small box connected to the tv mm-hmm. whereby this this is just a medium right it's just yeah. a medium of connecting your tv to your cell phone correct okay so this okay. is just the, the the bridge for it yeah yes yeah. well with the android box as you mentioned that yeah. it does actually save all the apps onto there whilst yeah. with this one your apps are saved onto your cell phone whilst sure. on the android box all the apps are saved onto there and it yeah. does come with the remote with that okay. one whereas with this one your cell phone is the remote yeah so, i think a major a major uh a major sorry a, ma- a major um benefit for this smart device is the fact that it's mobile right yeah definitely. you just walk around with it and there's no power yeah. plug that needs to be plugged in there you just literally just shove like it into it. your tv correct and yeah. you're good to go okay fantastic man um because we've covered it does a lot of entertainment it does a lot of uh anything basically that you do on your cell phone it just costs us onto a bigger screen so yes. that, that helps quite a lot um you know i see this being a device that you can use you know in a social platform or social environment i mean if you've got a party over you just move around right you go to another house even you are a walking party basically um and then i see here there's also like music apps obviously that you get on your phone yeah. that you every two then play play onto your tv Correct. right yeah. yeah uh facebook also you, when you go through your social you media and you yeah and you got everyone sitting there watching how great is that how, nah, it's fantastic it's fantastic definitely cool thank you so much man um is there anything else we need to touch on i mean oh, uh, the price point how much yes. is this device right? how much is the bad boy um in the market at the moment right now it's actually going for 8.99 so to be honest with you guys you guys have no reason not to go grab one i mean it's not that expensive right? yeah it's not expensive at all I yeah like i think it's less than the right android box though is it um more more or less similar. more or less okay. similar yeah okay Quite similar but yeah this is a very great device. and where would we get one can get it at macro can get it at game okay um can even check out the gadget shop i think they are a few chris yeah there's it's a chain yeah. yeah so you can definitely get them there in the market okay awesome awesome thank you so much mr man this is very very nice i'm just gonna show you guys one more time how this this guy looks like it's a small one like this it's got the little magnetic back here to make it neat uh it's got a cute little device so um yeah thanks so much for watching uh this is our friday tech talk for today we'll have another one very very soon probably next week talking about android boxes stay tuned